career exploration and igniting a passion for science, technology, engineering, and math. Thousands of students came together under one roof for the annual Kern County Career and STEM Expo at SeaTech. Thank you for joining us for the weekly wrap up. I'm Erin Briscoe Clark. Lighting up futures. So do we have power? Yes, we do. Right here. And inspiring young minds to explore and soar to new heights. This year's Kern County Career and STEM Expo held at the Career and Technical Education Center offered a day full of fun, informative demos. Yeah, we just wanted to just do a quick demonstration on kind of some of the technology we use uh, to incorporate uh, into student learning. Hands-on learning and exploring careers available in our own backyard. It's a record year for 3,500 students, uh, 150 exhibitors, and it's all about talent retention, right, and, and linking students with employers for future opportunities. Students used their muscles and stepped into the boots of firefighters. And these students use their minds to learn how to tie a tourniquet as a life-saving measure. There are so many cool career opportunities here in Kern County that kids have no idea about. And so this is like the perfect one-day opportunity to just open their eyes to things that they had no idea about. Because I'm still in that stage where I'm like figuring out what I want to do. It's so like great being able to come around and see all the booths and talk to people. Because it's like... I'm getting to see if I really enjoy this, if that would be a good thing for me. Let's step inside Innovations Hall, where magic meets science. And Jason Latimer wowed the crowd with his world-renowned illusions. Latimer, a world champion magician, science educator, and TV host, brought his Impossible Science live show to the stage. Thank you. Latimer also brought with him the Impossible Science Experience. This is where students were encouraged to engage in interactive science experiments to spark curiosity and wonder. Honestly, I just think it's like really exciting. You know, it's, it's a different experience. Um, we didn't have this my freshman or sophomore year, and I just think it's a lot of fun. The Kern County Career and STEM Expo is hosted by the Kern High School District, the Kern Economic Development Foundation, and Chevron in collaboration with other community partners. We want to thank everybody who made this year's event a success and for support in building career and STEM awareness for tomorrow's workforce. The Spartans brought the spirit on Wednesday as South High paid tribute to the legacy of beloved educator and coach Steve Strauss as the school officially unveiled the Steve Strauss track. The special dedication ceremony kicked off a track meet that afternoon. Strauss's family was in attendance and stories were shared of the esteemed coach and the indelible mark he's made inside and outside of the classroom during his 30-year career at South until his passing in 1997. He once remarked to some of his colleagues that he would be connected to South High until the day that he died. He told longtime rival and driller coaching legend Art Dalzell, I would like to be buried right at the finish line of the track at South High. There is a plaque placed at the finish line in the coach's honor. Around 40 students representing Del Oro, Foothill, Liberty, and South High Schools got a unique opportunity to present their research papers in front of a panel of professors from CSUB and BC during the inaugural Early College History Conference hosted by the Public History Institute at CSUB on April 26. The school was located on Cooper Island. It had a peculiar nickname. It was called Alcatraz or Canada's Alcatraz. Foothill junior Frankie Durden presented her paper, The Penelicate Island Residential School. She became interested in this topic after she learned of the school on the news. Following student presentations, attendees enjoyed a keynote address by Professor Kate Mulry and then ended the day with a tour of the Historical Research Center in the library. This week, we send an extra special thank you to our school principals in celebration of Principal Appreciation Day, recognized on May 1st. Principals, we appreciate your dedication, leadership, and commitment to our staff, students, and families. 
Each day, you go above and beyond to create a nurturing, supportive, and inspiring learning environment where students can grow and thrive. Thank you for leading by example, for your vision and innovation, and for always putting the needs of our students first. You are the heart and soul of our school community, and we are incredibly proud to have you at the helm. We extend our gratitude for all that you do today and every day. Thank you. This week, we also celebrate our school lunch heroes. These are our dedicated nutrition services employees who work hard to provide nutritious meals for thousands of our students each day. Their efforts help fuel the minds and bodies of our students so they're prepared to succeed. We appreciate all that you do. So next time you pick up your meal, be sure to say thank you. Thank you for watching the KHSD Weekly Wrap-Up. To see more videos from across the district, please visit the Kern High School District Public Information Office YouTube channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.